Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Doing a little something different. Um, uh, I've got um, a little bit of a Target, not Target, I don't know why I said that. I haven't been to Target in ages. Um, Aldi um, and Kroger haul for you. Since I've been on my budget, I have been um, meal planning. So I, I do two weeks at a time usually. And I write everything out. I write my recipes out and what I need. And I'll, let me just show you. See if I can. Okay. So can you see that, that is the front part of my grocery list? Um, it's really long. And then I kind of estimate how much I, I'll need. Some things I know because I buy every two weeks. Some and things so I don't. Um, know the prices so I can look up online on, on the app. Um, so that's what I did. I just estimated my prices to kind of see. This was my big one that I was talking about in my last budget video um, because I needed some extra things. I had budgeted an extra $60 for groceries. I did go over it. Um, I went over it by about $15.99. Um, part of that would be toilet paper because I only budgeted 15 for household. But my household stuff that I bought ended up costing um, a little bit more than that. So I had to use my miscellaneous money, um, which is money from my shop that I pay myself with. So it's fine, but all of my grocery money has gone. But good news is I have all of the ingredients I need for my meals for the next two weeks. So and breakfast food and lunch food for the kids. So I'm going to turn this around. And I'm gonna show you. Okay, so first, like most of this is, like this side is Aldi and this side is Kroger's. Now I got way more at Aldi than I did at Kroger's. And some's just all mixed up. Like I got my apples, my onions, I got these tortilla shells, the pork chops, bacon, the lunch meat, the little Happy Farms um, American single cheese, um, Aldi's was out of bananas, so my bananas came from Kroger's. Um, but like my chicken, I had, I have six family packs of boneless, skinless chicken breasts here. Um, these all came from Aldi's and they were all under $7. Some were $5.86, some were $6 and some change. I got my cheese. I got a pork butt that came from Kroger's. Sugar, oil, because I was out of cooking oil. Um, I got some freezer bags and some um, sandwich baggies for the kids' lunches. I got my egg noodles for a recipe, my breads. My husband likes to take danishes to work, so I got those at Aldi's. Brown sugar jam or strawberry preserves, I should say. And then I got some of the recipes I'm making called for some condensed soup. I got my peanut butter. Um, there's some snacks that the kids can take to school. Um, I got my coffee creamer at Kroger's. It's the best creamer ever. Um, got these at Aldi's. These are delicious. I got these last time. They were like $1.79 or $1.69, somewhere around there. And they're so good. Um, got my butter because I'm completely out of butter. Shredded Parmesan cheese. I needed onion salt because I used the rest, or not onion salt, onion powder because I used the rest of it in my last recipe. Banana Twins, which are my favorite. Um, I don't, I'm not a big banana eater, but I love Banana Twins. They're so good. I got my juices. Um, the reason I got two different kinds was because Kroger sent me a coupon for Capri Sun, and it was a little over a dollar off. And then I got the Kool-Aid Jammers because Kool-Aid Jammers are cheaper than Capri Suns. And there was a um, e-coupon on, Kroger, on Kroger's app. Um, for money off, so I paid less than what I normally would. Those are normally $1.99. Um, I'll show you whenever I'm done um, what how much I paid for everything. But I got my cocoa rice, the cinnamon crunch, Pop-Tarts, waffles. Those That breakfast, the non-heated breakfast stuff came from Aldi's. And then the waffles, the Jimmy Dean items, like the little biscuits, the garlic bread, all that came from Kroger's. Um, I'm obsessed with these. These are so good to put in water and it helps me drink um, 
drink more water, but Kroger's had a, these were on sale, so these were $2.99 on sale, and then they also had an e-coupon for a dollar off, so you get them for $1.99, which is a good deal. Um, let's see what else. There was something else there was a coupon for. Can't remember. Oh, the ground beef was on sale, $2.99 a pound. I got my potatoes. I got water from Aldi. Um, I got the Cottonelle at Kroger's because that's like, I'm kind of a toilet paper snob. That's my favorite toilet paper. I did get my paper towels at Aldi though. Um, I got one 20 ounce Dr. Pepper here and that is for a recipe. That's for my, um, the pork butt over here that I got at Kroger's. That's for my Dr. Pepper pulled pork. Um, these are for a recipe. Um, I got cream cheese and French onion dip and let's see, my scallions. What else did I get? What else did I get? Oh, if you want to see what I went over, um, doo -doo 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 -doo, I got the reason, part of the reason why, if I didn't get this, I wouldn't have went over. Um, but I got this cookies and cream cake from Kroger's. So, um, that is, let's see, I got my pastas, I got spaghetti and rotini. Let's see. Okay. First thing, let's see, is my, okay, so at Aldi, I did a couple of transactions because I use the envelope system, as if you've seen my other videos, you know, um, so I did a, um, a, what is it called, my household, my household envelope, I spent $15.33. I had to use some change out of my miscellaneous envelope for the 33 cents because I only had $15 in there. That's what I paid for my um, quart, my sandwich baggies and my freezer bags. Um, and then also the big thing of um, paper towels. So I forgot that I probably wouldn't have gotten the, the Ziploc bags or the, which it's still, those were super cheap. Like the, the quart bags were 165 and the gallon baggies were 189. So that was, it was cheap. Um, but I forgot that I also had to get toilet paper at Kroger. So I had already spent my money. So that's why I had to borrow some miscellaneous money. So there's 15. Let me see. I should have grabbed my calculator. Um, let me, let's see, my other Aldi, here's my, my Aldi list. Okay, so let's see. The chicken breast, you can see it was all under $8. The pork chops were $7.84. My shredded cheese, let's see. I didn't have any coupons for Aldi's. Um, all of this, all of these groceries came to $146.29 at Aldi's. Now, this was most of my groceries. Like, I got, the only meat I had to get at Kroger's was the pork butt and the, um, the ground beef. So, I got all of my other meat at Kroger's that I needed for the next two weeks. Um, that's an old receipt. Let's see. 16 ounce, oh, my, Walmart, I did buy, which it's not pictured, but at Walmart I did buy um, some fingernail polish remover, and that also came out of my miscellaneous. So, um, let's see, where's my big Kroger? So, like the Kool-Aid jammers, they were $1.99, there was an e-coupon for 50 cents. So, um, there's that, you can see there's the Capri Sun, it was $2.50. Uh, my coupons are at the bottom for that. Let's see. The rice. I was really disappointed because I needed the Nor rice. They were 10 for 10, so they were only a dollar a piece. But there was an e-coupon for Nor Select, and those were not included. So they were buy three, get one free. So I would have gotten the third had it worked, but it didn't. Um, let's see. The Crystal Light. There it is. Um, Crystal Light is $2.99. The there was an e-coupon for a dollar, so I got it for $1.99, and I got four of those, and you could get up to five with the coupon, so it was a really good deal. Um, the cookies, 
You can't see them under here. Bakery Fresh Cookies. I got those at Kroger's. I wouldn't normally get those, but they were $2.99. And then, let me find them. There was a um, dollar off e-coupon for the cookies. So that made them $1.99. Plus, I had a coupon that Kroger's had sent me. So down here you can see I got 65 cents off of $1.99, so that was a really good deal. My baby carrots I got 40 cents off of, um, and then baby carrots I got 40 cents off of, and um, where's the other one? Oh, the are those the Capri Suns? I think that's the Capri Suns, the 40 cents off right there. I think that was what that was. Anyway, but, so I spent a total of, where is my total, $129.18. So I had $114 left after my Aldi trip, and then I spent $16 of my miscellaneous money. So my grocery money is gone, but I'm good for the next two weeks, and I've got breakfast, lunch, lunch and dinners so even after the kids start so my next grocery list or my next grocery shopping trip should not um take as long but take as long and it shouldn't cost as much because i should still have some of these things left over but um what i am what i want to do is i want to try to make some like pb and j's and put them in the freezer which is why i got my my ziploc baggies um I might make up some little ham and turkey sandwiches or bologna sandwiches and try to freeze those. We did a little test run of um, the PB&J and my son said that it was fine and he liked it. So um, that's what I'm planning on doing, hopefully. And then meal prepping because all of that chicken that you saw, that is for freezer meals. And um, I kind of went Pinterest crazy this week. I've got a couple of, like the barbecue pulled pork, the Dr. Pepper pulled pork is not a freezer meal and neither is the I've got a pork chop those are going to be baked um all of the chicken recipes are pretty much well minus one and then I have the ground beef recipe which is the the ground beef and or turkey um and rice dinner that my friend told me about so let me show you I kind of want to show you what we're going to be having because it is a lot of chicken I verified with my husband to make sure it was okay first um because it is a lot so there's, I mean, there's only like three times in two weeks that we're not going to be having chicken. Um, hopefully they're different enough that it'll be fine. So let me just show you how I write out my, my menu. This is not my grocery list. This is just an idea of what we're going to be having. So I can look at it and be like, oh, I need to pull this out to thaw or whatever. So this is on my fridge. I just have a little magnet here. This is just a piece of paper that I cut. So dinner week one. And week one, I do week one and two. I don't like do week three and four because I just do it for the pay period. So week one is the first week of the pay period. Week two is the second week of the pay period. So like Monday, we're doing Amish chicken casserole. That's a freezer meal. This is a baked item, freezer, freezer, crock pot. And then on the weekend, we'll have leftovers, which I try to do like the Dr. Pepper pulled pork because it's a big pork butt. Um, that will have lots of leftovers. So I try to plan those that I know will have, you know, an extra amount. I plan that for Friday. That way we can eat on it all weekend and not have to go out and scrounge up food. Let's see if I can do this. I may just have to move it over here. Okay. So here's week two. Um, Hawaiian chicken, cheesy chicken spaghetti, one pot turkey and rice, honey sesame chicken, crack chicken noodle soup, and then leftovers again. And then the ones that you see behind this were this past two weeks meals. So those are my meals. And um, that's just that's a little good. of how I do, how I've been doing it. Um, if you have any questions, just type them in the comments below and I'll try to answer anything. Um, I'm not an expert on this. I just started doing things this way. So I don't want you to think that I'm being like, this is how you need to do it. It's just what has worked for us. 
I'm dropping things here. It's what's worked for us and helped us save money. So I'm just trying to pass along um, some of the info that I have actually tried. So if you like it, give me a thumbs up and subscribe. And um, that is all I have for you. Thank you. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.